What's up guys? So we're starting off with 455 for long pause double and Larson presses. Um, a lot of everything on these is going to be, you know, little technical PRs. Uh, same with my overhead press. I think uh, top set on overhead press on the primary OHP day was 275 for five and they were all, you know, resets uh, starting out of the at the clavicle, etc., uh, which you know, technical PR there too. I think seven's my best with 275, just kind of going like a touch and go type thing. And uh, man, a stretch reflex on overhead press is really uh, to take a video game term OP. Um, it's you know, you get so much more. Like anytime I'm doing uh, overhead presses, like rep number two always feels better than rep number one. Uh, because rep number two, you know, has that stretch reflex, uh, you know, when you're doing like the touch and go, just banging them out over and over. Um, that's why I really, I guess people are calling that whatever fung technique, whatever the fuck it is. I should have looked it up before I made this commentary, uh, where they'll start at the chin and then they'll, they'll drop it down and dip and then go and they'll call that strict overhead press because they didn't use any leg drive. But they're using the motherfucking stretch reflex, and I promise you, um, you know, you're obviously not gonna make you make your overhead press the same as your push press. But man, that stretch reflex, there's no doubt in my mind that that's adding, you know, pounds onto people's overhead press because it's, you know, like I said, it, it's a very, very noticeable difference uh, on overhead press with that stretch reflex. Um, so if, if you're not starting them straight off the clavicle, like I don't care, honestly, people doing reps, whatever kind of rep work they're doing, but if you're going to claim like I overhead press X and you're doing that bouncy fung technique thingy, um, you know, you're not doing it strict. Um, you're, you're getting stretch reflex. So little mini rant on that right there. Um, as I saute these potatoes, um, but otherwise, you know, training, upper body's going fine. My knee's feeling good. We're just not even going to worry about it because I don't want to be tempted to squat or anything. We're just going to keep going that direction. Um, I did on my, my cat sets this week, I kind of dropped the weight. Um, I dropped the weight on my top sets as well. Um, and just did higher reps and stuff. I really wasn't feeling it. And that's how this... This whole training block is going to go. It's going to be me working up to a top set. It may be a heavier single or double or triple. It may be a set of 5 to 8 to 10. Um, but it's going to be warming up to a top set and then dropping and doing, uh, you know, cat type reps on my main movement and then volume on the second one. Uh, I did add an extra set. Uh, so my progression on my volume is basically the first week was two sets a five then an am wrap then three sets of five and an am wrap um unfortunately i derped on the filming on my overhead day but i did get 10 on my am wrap again um and then just for shits and giggles uh one of my bodybuilder friends on facebook mentioned he'd been doing some one arm bench presses um and he just made a post and tagged me and a couple other guys in it wanted us to try it and you know he's using a very moderate weight and doing reps i just jumped straight to a plate to see so enjoy me flailing around like a fish uh watch my left arm the whole time it's fucking hilarious peace